Those of you that know me, I like to draw and write. One of my novels, Innocence, features a main character known as Damien Bruce. And a few months back, I decided I wanted to draw him. It was about time he got his own portrait. I found a reference picture on DeviantArt by Polaroid and set off with my pencils. I started with this outline that you see here, just to get basic shape. Now I began to shade very slowly. At this point, it was my favourite ear I had ever drawn. Until I tried to fix it up a bit. The next one was 100% better. From there I did a basic shade of the face and then onto the body. If you're wondering why he's positioned like this, by the way, um, he's just going to a fight with his stepfather and that's landed him unconscious. You can tell he my imagination. I made darker outlines and then couldn't put it off any longer. I had to draw on the hair. I hate drawing hair and this may be part of the reason why I then left the drawing at this point for a good three months or so. Where I just didn't look at it. When I went on holidays again, I decided that I was doing so good I had to finish what I'd started. I couldn't leave the poor guy with half a head of hair. So I finished that, but there was still something wrong with it that I couldn't put my finger on. Then I realised it was the face. It wasn't in the correct proportion. So I redid that. After that though, both the, both the arms and hands were too small so I had to bring them out more. I shaded his left arm first. The thumb alone took forever as I just wanted to get it right in the first go. Um, but now that the second hand I fell in love with his veins. <laughs> I don't, I'd never tried to draw veins before so I was quite happy with them. I added, I added the arm and chest hair which I also hadn't tried and basically just lost the scribble then um, softened with a smudging eraser. I do a lot of my shading with that, just an old eraser that smudges well. I made the shading darker and I still didn't like it until someone pointed out to me that the right arm was still much too small after I had it perfect, so I extended that again and redefined um, the joint between the hand and the wrist. I made everything darker again and with that um, I, was, I was happy. I'd completed one of the best drawings I'd ever done despite how many months it had taken me and I loved it. There was just one problem, this character had just come out of a fight and unfortunately for him it was not his first. He has this horrific childhood that leaves him quite scarred um, but at this point I couldn't bear to touch the drawing again for nearly two months. I couldn't draw scars over the top of this perfect drawing so I tried some photoshop and some other scars I'd drawn and that looked fine and dandy except for the fact the scars didn't really fit to his body so I went back and kind of cheated. I traced over the original, just another basic outline, and then added scars to that. Um, I didn't quite know what I was doing. I knew he had some fresh ones, and he had kill written across his stomach and blood. But he also had very old scars, most of which aren't seen when he's wearing shirts. So I did that and photoshopped that onto the original, which I thought was pretty cool. Still don't know if I'm perfectly happy with it, but I think it will do. I'd also drawn him in a mentally pad open eye, because after the fight he has to wake up and find himself in this situation. But if there's one thing about Damien, it's that he always gets back up. A new day has begun. The worst is over now, but the damage has been done. And you bear the scars of everything. You've been through. Now you have someone who believes in you. You might not necessarily agree with it, but he does. He picks himself up every time, despite the pain it may cause. Thank you.